How's it going you wonderful people? It's Jay and in today's video we're going to be looking at classic beta Pokemon from the 90s and see just how they evolved. I always love looking at the retro Pokemon designs from the 90s. The legendary designer Ken Sugimori has an amazing touch when it comes to creating Pokemon. He has all these amazing ideas that he put onto paper, creating some of the creatures that you guys know and love today. And with games like Pokemon in particular, designs and ideas always change during development. And it's thanks to a 2018 leak of an early 1997 Pokemon Gold and Silver beta version we've got a chance to look at just some of the little ideas that Nintendo were thinking at the time. And it's a big thanks to Pokemon historians and researchers like Dr. Lava on Twitter and artists like Rachel Briggs who have made all these discoveries come to life in incredible artwork that resembles the Sugimori style. So today let's have a look at just 10 of these awesome discoveries and a big thank you to Rachel for letting us use her artwork in this video. A lot of you love this classic water beast that was introduced in Gen 2. It's one of the toughest of them all and it packs a mighty punch. And speaking of deadly blows, check out this beta version of Kingdra from the demo. This version was lovingly recreated by Rachel and it takes on a more dragon-like form with whiskers and even a big menacing claws and spikes. Imagine seeing this version emerge from the seas in a future game. Continuing the theme of tough Pokemon, how about this little toughie? We all know Blissey as the healer, the unstoppable bundle of compassion. This chirpy little egg looked a bit different in the 1997 demo. Rachel's Sigamori inspired art is based on the demo sprite and paints a double egg wielder. And according to Dr. Lava on Twitter, was originally named Happy. The little heart on its head looks a bit like a nurse's hat. Or maybe a, um, uh, a butt. Next up on our list is a beast that looks like it's straight out of the Spidey cartoon from the 90s. It's more of a scorpion styled original Gligar design. This beta sprite originally took on a slightly scarier look and as someone who's very afraid of spiders and scorpions, just looking at this piece of art by Racy Beep freaks me out. This version of Gligar looks a bit like the more menacing cousin of an adorable scamp that we got in the final build. From a menacing scorpion bat to something that's just a little bit cuter, it's the original design for Azumarill. We all know the final gold and silver version to be this adorable water fairy egg with bunny-like ears, but the original design was a bit more mouse-like. Pikachu's distant cousin maybe, with two little tails and the most adorable little face. How cute does he look in this recreation art? Can someone please, please make this into a plushie? From cute to mysterious, this next Pokemon is a beta version of the mythical Celebi. The now iconic leaf-like form is totally how we associate this Pokemon, but did you know this critter took on a far different form originally? Dr. Lava notes how it was classified as a simple plant Pokemon rather than the time traveler we all know and love. Let's use Celebi's time traveling powers to go back even further. Back before Pokemon conquered the world, back to when the legendary Ken Sugimori was pending design for capsule monsters. We know Ivysaur was the tough secondary evolution, the sassy teenager, but before the sudden Ivysaur won hearts in the 90s, it took on a more sluggish form. Maybe a hungover version. This floral dinosaur has a few weeds here and there. The Gen 1 beta designs continue with a look at Tentacle, and did you know that this beta version had a few more tentacles and was far more menacing in its early design? This reworking of the 90s early sprite by Rachel is totally something that you would see in a 90s alien movie, it's so slimy. From cruel sea creatures to something a little bit more wholesome, it's the original design for this adorable pink bundle of joy. It's the original look for Cleffa, a sort of Teletubby blob that blends more into an alien, sort of moon-like design. In some ways, it looks like a marshmallow version of Nintendo's Star Bits. And look at its derpy little face as well. Imagine if you took a classic Sonic the Hedgehog 2 enemy and popped it into the world of Pokemon. We may have ended up with this little chap. Gen 2 starter selection changed mid-development and according to Dr. Lava, the derpy Cyndaquil wasn't originally meant to be Johto's fairy fire starter. Instead of that roaring flame, this critter had green spikes and this sweet pink colour. 
And the last beta Pokemon we're looking at today is an early look at this Gen 1 creature. It's Spiro, a little bird that started off more cartoon-like than its final fearsome form, and Rachel recreated this early sprite into what could have been a bird that looks like it's straight out of a classic gangster movie. Hey, Ash Ketchum, say hello to my little claws and give me your Pikachu. If you guys want to see more incredible artwork, be sure to check out Racy Beep and definitely check out Dr. Lava's incredible website full of amazing Pokemon finds. Links are below. So what do you guys think of these beta Pokemon? Are they better or are they worse than the classic Pokemon games that we all know and love? Let us know with a comment. And if you guys want to see more Pokemon, more geeky and gaming videos like this, be sure to subscribe. So thanks so much for watching and see you amazing trainers in the next video. Bye bye.